Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to create Elora's contacts from Google Sheets. So in a Google Sheet, I maintain the lead details and my objective is that whenever I'm going to add a new lead details, I wish to create that lead as a contact in Elora's. So now to do this, I need to set up a connection between these two applications for which I'm going to use this amazing automation software that is Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect follows the concept of trigger an action. So here to do this, my trigger application will be Google Sheets and my action application will be Elora's. So if you want to learn more about this, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will understand how to create Elora's contact from Google Sheets. So here my objective is that whenever in this Google Sheet, in a new row, I'm going to add the lead details, then I wish to create that lead as a contact in my Elora's account. So now to do this, I need to set up a connection between these two applications for which I'm going to use this amazing automation software that is Pabli Connect. So this here is the landing page of Pabli Connect and in order to reach here, you just have to type in pabli.com slash connect in your browser. So over here, you can see that I've got two options. One is of sign in and the another one is of sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, you can simply sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. Now this here is the all applications page. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. In the meanwhile, subscribe to our channel. So this here is my dashboard and now in order to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as create Elora's contacts from Google Sheets. On my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as Google Sheets to Elora's automation. And now here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I've arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. So basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of your trigger application and in a workflow, you can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case that is to create Elora's contacts from Google Sheets. So over here in Pabli Connect, I will go to my trigger window and over here I'm going to search for Google Sheets as my trigger application. Here it is. And the trigger event will be new or updated spreadsheet row. So now moving to my action window as I want to create a contact in Eloris. So over here, I'm going to search for Eloris as my action application and the action event will be to create a new contact. So as you can see that I have selected my action application and the action event along with my trigger application and the trigger event. As my objective is that whenever in this Google Sheet in a new row, I'm going to add the lead details. I wish to create that lead as a contact in my Eloris account. So now in order to begin with the automation, firstly, I need to set up a connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So here you can see that a webhook URL is given and along with that a help disk is given. So read this help disk given below carefully because this webhook URL is going to act as a bridge to connect your Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. So now I'm going to take you to my Google Sheets. So over here, this is the Google Sheet and it consists of these details. So I want that whenever in a new row, I'm going to add the lead details, then those lead details should be sent to Pabli Connect and furthermore, a contact should be created in Eloris. So now in order to build a connection, I need to go to extensions and make sure you should have this Pabli Connect Webbooks extension. So if you don't have it, you can simply go to get add-ons. And over here, you just have to search for Pabli Connect Webbooks. So as I've already installed this extension, so here it says installed, you also have to follow the same process. So now I will go to extensions once again. Over here, I will go to Pabli Connect Webbooks. And now in order to begin with the connection, I will go to initial setup. So here in initial setup, it says the webhook URL will be set up on the below selected sheet. So over here, you can see that it only consists of one sheet. So the webhook will be set up in this sheet. And now moving to the webhook URL part and the trigger column. So from Pabli Connect, I'm going to copy the webhook URL and over here, I'm going to paste it. Now moving to the trigger column. So the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to webhook URL. Over here, you can see that F is the final data column. So I want to send the data till F row to Pabli Connect. So over here, I'm going to select F as my trigger column. Once I've done that, I'm going to click on Submit. 
and here you can see that it says setup configured successfully so as the setup is configured moving to the next step i will go to extensions once again i will go to public connect web books and over here i will go to send on event so by clicking on send on event i'm going to make sure that every time in this google sheet in a new row the lead details are added so those details should be sent to public connect so here i'm going to click on send on event so as i've done that now it's an important step to refresh this google sheet so i'm going to refresh it so as i've refreshed this over here in public connect you can see that it is waiting for webhook response that means now i need to do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response so here in this google sheet in this new row i'm going to add the lead details so here i've added the details you can see the first name last name company profession email and the phone number that means these details would have been sent to public connect so now i'm going to take it to public connect and yes over here you can see that i have received the details here you can see the trigger column which i have selected was f here is the spreadsheet name spreadsheet id sheet name sheet id row index and you can see the details which i have mentioned of the lead here is the profession phone number last name first name email so that means the lead details which i have added in my google sheets in a new row is successfully captured over here in pably connect so the first step of this automation is set up that means now whenever i'm going to add the lead details in a new row in my google sheets then automatically the lead details will get captured over here in pably connect so as the first step of this automation is set up now i want to create a contact in eloris by using the lead details so in order to do that i need to establish a connection between eloris and pably connect so here i'm going to click on connect so now if you have an existing connection you can go with the same or you can simply add a new connection so to add a new connection i need to mention the api key along with this token which is mentioned over here in the instruction and i need to mention the organization id so firstly here in authorization i'm going to copy this prefix i'm going to paste it now for the api key i'm going to take it to my eloris account so over here this is my eloris account i will go to my profile go to user profile and over here you can see that this here is the api key so i'm just going to copy it and i'm going to paste it over here so now moving to the organization id so over here in eloris i will go to settings in settings i will go to organization and here in organization this here is the organization id i'm going to copy it and over here i'm going to paste it and click on save so as i did that here you can see eloris and pably connect is connected so now moving to these details so over here as in the google sheet i've added the details of the lead which consists of first name last name company profession email and the phone number so over here in these fields we are going to map those details so basically mapping means to insert the data from previous step so as i've received this response from google sheet so that is why over here in these fields i'm going to map these details from that response so now moving to the profession over here i'm going to map the profession so scrolling down to some other details so over here i need to mention the email so again in this field i'm going to map the email from the response received so now moving to email is primary so over here you need to mention it as true or false so i'm going to mention it as true scrolling down over here in phone number i'm going to map the phone number so over here i'm going to mention the phone number as primary so over here as you can see that i have mapped the details in these fields so this method of mapping is important so that every time you are going to receive a new response so that response could be taken into consideration in these fields if i would have written this information manually in that case this information could have become static which means that it wouldn't change even if i would have received a new response so to avoid that problem we map the information so as i've mapped the details here i'm going to click on save and send test request and over here you can see that i have received the response and this here is a positive response that means a contact would have been created in my eloris account so over here you can see that an id has been generated so this here is a positive response and here in eloris under contacts you can see that a new contact has been created by the name of new contact here you can see the company name here you can see the profession that was of software instructor so that means a contact has been successfully created in eloris from the lead details which i have added in a google sheet so this automation is a successful one 
That means now whenever in a Google Sheet in a new row I'm going to add the lead details then automatically that lead will be created as a contact in Eloris. So if you like this video don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications and create amazing automations by using Pavli Connect. So you can reach us at support at the rate If you have any queries, you can write us to https.forum.pavli.com and for pricing related issues, you can visit this link. So you can create a lot more automations by using Pavli Connect and don't forget to share these videos with your friends, colleagues. Subscribe to our channel for more.